Hey guys, welcome back today to another video. Welcome back to episode number nine of Roy's Road to the Euros. Now, as you can tell from the title, today's episode is focused around footballing legend Steven Gerrard, England legend Steven Gerrard. Now, he's not going to be involved in the Euros, but I thought it would be doing him an injustice if we didn't give him a challenge to try and get his experience into the team for Roy's Road to the Euros. Looking at the team we've got on our screen now, it's full of golds and silvers now. We're getting rid of those bronzes, even in the actual reserves and on the sub bench. Luke Shaw has actually passed his suspension now, so we are going to bring him back on in replace of Phil Jagielka. Jagielkas are going to make his way to the bench. We're going to be unlocking some players today that we didn't quite manage to get in previous episodes, but it's been enough time now for us to be able to give it another go. So, Leighton Baines, he was way back in episode number two. It'd be great to get Leighton Baines into the team to get some support for Luke Shaw at left back. And then as well as that, we go back to Leicester, where we did the Jamie Vardy challenge and we missed out on Danny Simpson and Danny Drinkwater. Two players that I would love to get into this team. They've had brilliant seasons for Leicester and hopefully we can get them today into this squad. We're going to play one more match in Division 8. If we get a point, we'll secure the title. We then move into Division 7 and at the end of that, we do the challenge to unlock Steven Gerrard. This is going to be a great episode. Let's get into the FIFA. By the way, this is the training shirt from last year's Wembley Cup. Hopefully, playing at Wembley Stadium is going to be a good omen for this episode. It's a BPL team. He's got Falcao and Remy up front. We've played against that partnership before. It's a pretty strong team. Zabaleta, Cleese, he's got Tim Howard in goal. Right then, let's go. We've also, if you guys remember, we've got Jamie Vardy on four matches in a row. So if we can win all of them today, that'll be on seven. It'll be getting close to that record of 11 to unlock that record breaker Vardy card. But we also want to make sure we get a point so that we win the title in Division 8 and keep up the 100% record. Uh-oh, Falcao. It's dangerous. Brilliant from Ruddy. And it comes back out to Falcao. That is the most common goal that you can concede on FIFA 16. This is the game for Leighton Baines, a player that I did put on the plane originally in episode number one when we did the predictions for Roy's team. So if he doesn't get in now, Leighton Baines is not going to have much part to play in this Roy's Road to the Euro series. You've got to try and win this match. We've also got to try and get a goal for Vardy. That was close. Scott Sinclair has done superbly well. Penalty! Yes! We're going to give it to Vardy again because this would make it five in a row that Jamie Vardy has scored in. We're going to go into the top left-hand corner. Yes! Come on! Five in a row for Vardy. We're level in the match. All we need is a point. In order to seal the title, we want Leighton Baines. We've got to win. Now Nathan Redmond, he has got a bucket load of pace. That is a lovely piece of skill. And now Vardy again. Can he get the right ball in? Not the right ball, but it's going to fall anyway. To Agbon Lahore. Ross Barkley now turns fantastically. Dangerous. Oh, Remy to Barkley. Agbon Lahore is onside. Again, Ross Barkley get in there. 2-2. Two -two. Ross Barkley, he's not scored for a couple of episodes. He's back in the goals. An assist from Agbonlahor, I thought I'd almost screwed it up. He's round the back. He's done very well here. Gabby Agbonlahor, it's got to be. It's 3-2. Brilliant stuff. Agbonlahor, he's got so much pace about him. It's just brilliant. Punching now. Has done very well indeed. Scott Sinclair to Vardy. It's 4-2. Little bit of a sweat machine going on now. But Jason Punchin has made it 4-2. And that hopefully is the game. We've scored three goals in eight minutes. Oh, that is superb. Luke Shaw. Come on, Leighton Baines is about to come into the team. What can Shaw do? Pretty much gets an assist. It's 5-2 and Jason Punchin has now scored twice today, but Luke Shaw is all about his run. That is the perfect way to begin an episode. Leighton Baines is a new left back that we have managed to get involved now in the series thanks to the victory. From 2-1 down, with half an hour to go, we have won 5-2. It's another goal for Jamie Vardy, by the way, which means it's five in a row now that Vardy has scored in. We win the title yet again. Match number two, this is to unlock Leicester's Danny Simpson. He's got a very strong team. He's got Schweinsteiger, Cazorla, and Yaya Torre in the middle. Company, Koscielny, Leno in goal. Jason Punchin, he is in the form of his life right now for us. Punchin, lovely ball. Agbon Lahore is in. It's Gabriel Agbon Lahore. He's got to be greedy. Should have just put it out for a throw in, mate. You might as well have. Vardy! Oh, no. Anyone. 
Please just put it in. And Baines wins it though. Now Nathan Redmond, he's going to hit that. Good effort, just wide. Oh yes, Gabriel Egbonnahor. Please, penalty. <laughs> Ref referee, are you blind? Are you dumb? Are you deaf? Are you eating something? Have you gone for a wee? Why have you not given that? Here's Jamie Vardy. Well, 90th minute, still nil-nil. And it looks as though Jamie Vardy's record breaker challenge it's going to have to reset itself yet again after a five-match goal-scoring streak unless... No, Vincent Company is literally the slide tackle demon. Oh, my word. Here we go. Penalty! Yes! Oh, my word! It's a penalty! We've got a penalty in the last minute of the game. The way this match has gone, I wouldn't be surprised if Leno saved it because shelney has been sent off. This is drama. This is, this is too much drama. I've got to spin around on my chair. Six in a row and we win. Top right hand corner, Leno is pointing that way, and Vardy scores! 1-0 to England, what a moment in this series, that could be. Six in a row for Jamie Vardy, it was the last kick, it was the last kick. Can you believe it? What an episode this is. So then, Danny Simpson comes into the team. We're going to keep Nathan Redmond on the right hand side. Vardy and Agbon Lahore up front. Jamie Vardy now has scored six consecutive matches. Can we make it another 100% episode here today and unlock Danny Drinkwater in the final match? Obviously the next episode is going to be episode 10. At the start of the next episode we're going to be taking a look at some of the players that we have got so far and seeing which players we deserve to upgrade because you know the likes of Scott Dan, he has just been so good so far in this series, so has John Stones and we're going to be looking to upgrade some cards. So the final match to unlock Danny Drinkwater it's 100 chemistry, but it's not an unbearable team. He's got Rakitic in there, Kovacic, one of my favourite players on this year's FIFA. Strong defence with Bravo, Pepe, PK, and Godin. Scott Sinclair again. This is very good indeed. Can he get the right pass? Not quite. We're struggling to break this team down, even with the three at the back. It's making life even more tough for us. Hunchen to Sinclair to Agbon Lahore. Here is Jamie Vardy. This could be the moment. Jamie Vardy. Come on, Vardy to make it seven in a row. Dreadful. We might not be as lucky as we were in the last match where we took a penalty in the last kick of the game. Not going to get that chance again. I doubt very highly. And that is a stunning goal. What a finish. To make it 1-0. Kovacic, the player that I always, always big up on this game. It's Jamie Vardy. Vardy! Is that going down as Vardy's goal? It's going down as an own goal, or is it Vardy's? It's got to be an own goal. It has to be an own goal. We've equalised. It's an own goal. It's an own goal. But it's an equaliser. It's fine. Seven minutes to go. It's 1-1. We have got a corner to defend here, which John Ruddy claims from the air superbly. Can he get the right ball out? Yes, he can. Jason Punchin, lovely first touch from Punchin. Now Agbon Lahore, he's got an abundance of pace in that locker. What can he do with it now? Agbon Lahore, in, oh, come on. Jamie Vardy, surely not. Vardy, straight to the keeper. That was the chance to make it seven in a row. However, we have scored for six games in a row with Vardy. He forced the goal to make it an own goal. So what I'm gonna say here is that we reset the record for the record breaker Vardy, but as a result of scoring all of those goals, six in a row is a pretty good achievement. And then he pretty much assisted the last one, which was an own goal. We're gonna get the inform Jamie Vardy to put back into this team to replace the goal card we've got up front. I think that's a pretty fair deal at this stage. He is going to be the first upgrade that we make at the start of the next episode, which is episode 10. Right then, the final part of this episode, the Steven Gerrard Challenge. Now, I'm not going to explain anything else. We're going to go into the football clip now. The challenge will speak for itself. I'll introduce it really briefly. But yeah, Steven Gerrard, ladies and gentlemen. Well, George Benson, but... We're trying to be like Steven Gerrard. This is the Steven Gerrard challenge. Even though Steven Gerrard has retired, he's one of the England legends that are actually available for us here on the PS4 to be able to use still. He's still playing for LA Galaxy. So, the Steven Gerrard challenge. 50 shots from outside the D. I've got to score 25 of them. If I score 25, Gerrard is available to use. If I don't, we don't manage to use Steven Gerrard, unfortunately. This is only a one-take thing, as Gerrard certainly won't be playing because he's already retired. So we're going to give it one go. If we succeed, we can use him. If we don't, Gerrard's never going to be in again. Steven Gerrard challenge. Got to score at least 25 out of 50. 
the balls are currently where the D actually is, so that's the 18 yard line. Let's do this. Good start. If I miss, that's it. How am I going to outro this? Right then, Steven Gerrard is in the team. Now I know he's probably not going to play very much, but it's that experience that's going to come in handy. He's coming out of retirement just for Roy's Road to the Euros, doing a special offer for me. I'm not playing him very much, but yeah, Steven Gerrard is in there, went down to the wire. I'm knackered. So then, as you guys can as you guys can see on the screen, Steven Gerrard has come in. He's replaced Jason Punchin. Jason Punchin drops to the bench, but Jason Punchin has been absolutely brilliant for the club so far. Let's take a look at his statistics. He's got three goals and four assists. I thought he'd actually scored more than that. But Jason Punchin drops down to the bench. Gerrard comes in. That team is starting to look pretty tasty indeed. The next episode, episode 10, going to upgrade a couple of these players. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Episode 10 is going to be Liverpool. See you there. Bye-bye. Done in the gym, done in the sauna, done in the jacuzzi, done in the shower. I'm feeling ready to go and attack the day. Got some videos to record that I'm going to meet Simon later for some editing, hopefully. 